a lot of us you know who are very scared are like no <laughs> because the, it's already been a 20 30 one hour long interview and you're already exhausted and you just want to get out of it that was just the beginning of good things to happen you know having goal is always good that's not bad but let those four years do something to you let that environment change you can sort of drive the interview towards what you want the interview to talk Hello and welcome to Ajab Interview Ki Gajab Kahani. I am Gunjan, your host for today. To kickstart this series, we have a very special guest with us. Let me introduce you to Karthik Gavra. Karthik Gavra is a student of Delhi University who has made it into big companies like Zomato, Blinkit and Praxis. He started as a blockchain researcher and is now an associate consultant with Praxis Global Alliance. He has been a speaker at Moment of Delhi where he delivered speeches on cybersecurity. He worked at Zomato as a product intern. We welcome you to Engineers Cradle Karthik. So now we'll be discussing about your Ajab interview ki Gajab Khani. So my first question is, uh, tell us something about yourself that not many people know about you. Not many people know about me. Um, okay. Uh, so basically I have someone who, you know, uh, even from in my initial days in college, you know, I, I started studying information technology, which is basically computer science. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of people would say, if you're from a computer science background, your natural inclination would be towards coding and towards those kind of roles, right? So it was very similar for me also when I joined college and I also felt, yeah, that I want to do, you know, I want to go to, I want to do a tech role. I really was interested in AI, blockchain, all, all those kind of things. Uh, but very early on in uh, my engineering uh, stint, I realized that that was something I did not really enjoy doing because once I went there and once, you know, I was in that competition, not even about the competition, sorry. Uh, so yeah, not even about the competition. It was more about me not liking what, uh, you know, sitting in front of laptop and, you know, trying to create something. I, I really did not enjoy that. I really wanted to get outside the world. You know, I, I wanted to go outside of that room and, you know, yeah. uh, talk to people, talk about new ideas, talk about new things. And uh, so that was who I actually was. And that was something that I realized about myself only after coming to college. So yeah, I, I understand that uh, all of you who might be listening to this are already starting or might start your engineering career very soon. So before we really move into the intricacies of things, one thing I would really want to say is that let this time do something to you. So even when I was about to start my engineering, I think I heard, I saw a video by, I guess, Aman Dattarwar. So I'm sure a lot of you might know it. Yeah. So uh, he said this thing that when you're going for an engineering degree, don't go after this, I want to do an MBA or I want to do an MS, then I want to crack a job in Google. Uh, having a goal is always good. That's not bad. But let those four years do something to you. Let that environment change how you look at things and, what you really want to do. So once you go in inside that that campus or that building with an open mindset, uh, great things will happen. Yes, of course. So uh, you've worked with Zomato, you've worked with Blinkit, and now you're with Praxis. But what was your first internship like and how did you prepare for the interview? First internship. Uh, interesting. So the first internship was, uh, there wasn't really an interview, I would say, per se. Uh, it was basically, uh, so we had our college groups and there was this uh, opening for a blockchain based, blockchain based company, which was incubated in my college itself. So, uh, you know, I worked there uh, and I, I don't have any regrets sharing that. It was like a free intern, like it is not a paid internship. Uh, okay. So, yeah, but uh, just the fact that, uh, you know, I was getting the chance to uh work with such people you know work in a new company wherein you know the other people in my college were college were uh, you know in societies and they used to uh, work on these fests and all of those things so as i was saying you know uh, those uh, a lot of people were in fests and all of those things and i really did not get intrigued by those things to be very honest i felt that uh, you know working with a small startup would give me a much more better exposure than you know uh, working working on a fest so that's where that started and Somehow I feel that was just the beginning of good things to happen. You know, one thing led to another. I, so, so the best thing about that startup was that my role was basically to understand whether the product that they had created, the uh, company had created was good enough or not. 
So we used to talk to a lot of customers. We were sent to a lot of blockchain meetups where we would meet, you know, people in the blockchain industry who were like stalwarts of the industry. And we would just go as kids and we would, you know, talk to them about the space. You know, Web3 and blockchain was very new then. It still is, I feel. It's very nascent right now. So, uh, you know, uh, we used to go there and we made a lot of contacts. So, you know, after three, four, five months of doing that internship, I already had a lot of people I knew in the blockchain space. And, you know, I could easily use my network to get my next internship. So uh, that is, I feel, uh, that is one thing I would also like to highlight for everyone over here that, you know, we we'd set our targets too high sometimes. You know, we, we want an internship at the best company, even if it is our first or second internship. So uh, I would say go go slow, go small. It's okay if the first company is not something you've heard of. Even if that company is a two-person, a two-people company, it's okay. You might learn something from there that might be invaluable. You might find a network over there. You might find people over there who might, uh, you know, you might change how you look at things right now. And I'm still connected with those people. Those They had started that company in 2019. There were two people. Uh, you know, just last year they raised, I don't know how many millions of funds. And then they called everyone who had worked with them for the past four years for a party. And it was a lovely place to be there because, you know, you felt that, okay, whatever you did back then has, uh, you know, has an impact today. So yeah, that was my first internship story. All right. So now you spoke about paid internships and unpaid internships. So most of the students, like they look for paid internships, they do not want to go with unpaid internships. So how important is that? Does money play some role? See, uh, very easy for people like me uh, who did not have any pressure, I would say one from my parents and my family. And and there was no uh, financial problem as such that I, I had to face that. So it would be easier for me to say over here that, yeah, you should go for an unpaid internship. Having said that, even if there is an urge or a requirement for you to earn money, I would say uh, doing an unpaid internship or doing an internship which is not paying you as much as you want it to, uh, think of it as an investment, not as, you know, a wasted, a time wasted. Because one once you will have something on your resume to talk about, an experience you have to talk about, it will lead you somewhere. And that learning that you will get from that place for one month, two months, whatever you were there, because internships are short, they're not, you know, yeah. one month, two months, you can afford that much. And once you do that, uh, you know, as I said, you know, that first internship that I did led me to my second internship. And that second internship that I did, did help me find a co-founder uh, with whom I started my own startup. So if I backtrack today if to where I am, if I would go back, it would all lead to that first time, uh, that first yes. internship, which was an unpaid one, which was even the role wasn't, you know, now, you know, I'm, I'm a consultant now I have done product roles, but the first role was, I, I don't even know what to call it. It was just basically we were, we were just doing validation for the product, but it all helped. Right. Uh, and that's why I would say whatever you get, embrace it and try to give it your best. If you feel after a month or so it's not doing value to you, then obviously you can start looking for something else or you can switch or you can focus on your studies. But I would say give it a shot. If you feel it is something that you would get some amount of learning or you would find a network in, go for it. All right. So value over money. Yep. Yeah. So I was going through your LinkedIn and I saw a post where you were talking about how uh, you it was very difficult for you to land your first internship, like your dream internship or something. So tell us about the hardships that you went through. So, uh, so I, from my first year, you know, I used to do all these small internships. I would call them, you know, working with companies that people wouldn't have heard of as such. And that was like one or my first or second year I was... Uh, I was doing that and uh, I did not do it. Uh, I didn't do internships because I had to, or that was a norm. It is something that I just enjoyed. You know, I just enjoyed going out there and, you know, talking to people. And at the same time, I once I started getting some bucks and I could, you know, give my uh, family a small gift or something, it was infectious uh, like that also. So, uh, but, you know, after two years and so uh, a part of my engineering the degree says that I have to do an internship at the end of my third year which has some credits as well. 
and so you know a lot of people in my college also you know this this sort of aspire to do a very good internship you know that's like the summer internship of college so that 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 you know uh, there was sort of also pressure because of the environment i was in plus even inside of me i wanted to prove myself that you know because i i felt that i've done a lot of things in my first two years and i deserve or maybe i felt that i deserved to uh, land into a good internship so this was the covid uh, period in 2020 i guess 20 2020 or 2019 one of those times and uh, the job market was bad forget about internships people not were not they were getting laid off from their jobs and the yeah. internship market was kaboom so uh, i used to reach out to a lot of people on linkedin so i guess i was doing this activity of uh, reaching out to people on linkedin for like two or two and a half months and i was really frustrated at that point of time uh but you know i sort of figured out a, a method i would say and i backed it that okay this is how i'm going to be reaching out to people on linkedin and after two two and a half months i got this uh, offer from grofers then now it's called blinkit so uh that was again through linkedin uh no personal contacts nothing like that uh, i reached out to several people on linkedin of grofers and <clears throat> they liked my profile because of the fact that i had done so many other things you know so there were no brand names in my uh, resume right you wouldn't listen uh, you would you wouldn't read a name and you wouldn't really know about that company but the things that i had done that showed that i had that knack of learning learning quickly and delivering so that that actually gave uh, i did not even have a proper interview at grofers to be very honest you know they he just it was just a phone call and he said that okay see i know it's an internship and i, I can see that you've done things you've learned things very quickly and you've done multiple things so i'm sure that you know if you'll come here you'll be able to learn and de- deliver here as well so i think that is the repo that you need to create for yourself that even if you're doing internships in not so well known companies and you know startups the startups are a great place to learn you yes. know they won't give you that brand name that you know people would be will go gaga about but there are great place to learn because from a very small task to even making the pitch decks and iams of a company uh you do it all at a startup right so that is the best thing of working at a startup and that is how the ball got rolling and you know i could go to other places which were well known and that is why you are interviewing me as well yes uh, there is a set of questions that interviewers ask so is it similar for all the companies or some companies use different format and others use different format um so see there are some basic questions that are usually start that are usually asked the starting and at the end which i could generalize to some extent but okay. after that in between it's all about the role and it's all about how you actually take the interview forward so a few quick tips about that uh one uh you should know what your strong uh, point is you know you, you should know what you are strong in so you can sort of drive the interview towards what you want the interview to talk about so for example when i had my i gave an interview with cred this happened that so i mentioned about my startup and it was a product interview and it, usually product interviews have sort of a product breakdown or things like that like a case study or something like that but that interview went completely differently so once i told him about my startup he was like okay i am in i uh, for, think of me as an investor show me your pitch deck and pitch it to me so basically i also had created a product so he could ask all his questions but now directly about my product rather than taking an xyz product and uh, you know talking to, uh, you know asking questions on that so uh, if you know what your strong point is and obviously because that was my startup that was my product i had, uh, i had uh, i had sleepless nights working on it you know i had endless nights working on it so i knew every small detail about it so that was my strong point you know he could not grill me on that and there was no chance he could grill me on that so that's how that although that i don't know for what reason that interview didn't go through but still i feel that you know when you put you're using your strong points and you're driving the interview in that direction that's always a plus you know that you will get into those jobs or internships more often than not that is point number 1 point number 2 every interviewer even when you started interviewing me just as a guest the first thing you asked is something uh, tell me something about yourself 
yes. you know that is something i think you can sort of prepare for and again you could you could highlight your strong points and what uh, makes you different from the others right what sets you apart so uh, you can actually that's something you can think about uh, initially and you can prepare for that uh, once you deliver that you know you you the first impression is is very important you know there is that saying that the first impression is the most important one uh, so that will set the ball rolling again and uh, third so there is this very common thing that whenever an interview ends an interviewer says that uh, so uh, do you want to ask me something yeah. and a lot of us you know who are very scared are like no <laughs> because the, it's already been a 20 30 one hour long interview and you're already exhausted and you just want to get out of it you want to switch off your laptop and you just want to you want to sleep right so but that is that is a very important point because when you ask certain questions you show that you also have that level of intellect you know you know you can show that you're genuinely interested to work you genuinely uh inquisitive about the work that you might be doing if you join that company so that one or two questions that you should be asking at that point of time is something that again you can prepare beforehand and you should you should definitely ask a question at that point of time because that might set apart set you apart from the other people because you know i remember even during the campus placements the interviews were going like they were like 15 20 minute interviews and which could be like one hour long interviews so what because you know there were like 40 candidates so what would they do but but if you start an engaging conversation with the interviewer which he hasn't had with the last 20 people when will that happen when you will ask a question you, you know you will ask a follow up question that so till the interview is just like bas bhai ab to ja you just need to you need to ask those questions you need to have that conversation like a friend like a You know, once you reach that similar level, things change. You know, so the last thing you would remember about it will be, "Ah, yeah, this is a, this is a much question. Question is starting to come. So you know, even even he got thinking, and if he is thinking, then he definitely thinks that the person in front of him is smart. So yeah, you always get brownie points for that. Okay, thank you so much, Karthik. It was uh, really great having you, and I hope that all the things that you have said will really help the students. So, thank you once again for joining us today. My pleasure, Gunjan. My pleasure. Yeah, I thank hope you. Uh, you had a great conversation here. Yes, yes, I did. I hope uh, whoever listens to this got some insights, and uh, yeah, just be at it, guys. Doesn't matter. uh after point colleges degrees uh experiences also maybe sometimes doesn't really matter uh what really matters today in india i feel is skill and uh once you build that skill you can build it for free today it, you do not require a degree for it you know i have done a computer science degree and i know someone who would have done a course a course would not more than me so uh skill is more important focus on the skill part of it once you can crack that you can crack any company any interview uh nothing is nothing would stop you so yeah just uh, build your skill and all the best for whatever you do yeah.